morning everyone. Today we will be discussing about first chapter of science, living and non-living. Chapter 1, living and non-living. Students, have you ever wondered what are living and non-living things? Okay, let me tell you all. Things that have life and show any kind of activity are called living things. For example, plants and animals. Things such as your book, bottle, bag do not have life and are called non-living things. Non-living things can be classified into two groups. Natural things and man-made things. Computer, chair, vase are called man-made things because these things are made by humans. Things such as cloud, sun, moon, stars are called natural things because they are naturally found in nature. Let us study about the different features of living things. All living things move. Animals like cows, tigers, lions, dogs and cats can walk and run. Birds fly, fish swim and those who cannot walk and run, they crawl. For example, snails and earthworm. Similarly, Plants also shows different kind of movement. For example, a sunflower turns to face towards the sun. Second features. All living things breathe. Students, now let me explain you the meaning of breathing. Exchange of gases is called breathing. We breathe in oxygen and release carbon dioxide. Humans and animals breathe through the nose. Aquatic animals like fish breathe through the gills. Whereas insects, they breathe through the tiny holes present in their bodies. Whereas earthworm breathe through the skin. Similarly, all plants Breathe through tiny holes present in its leaf called stomata. Third feature. All living things grow. Get old and die. For example, a baby grows to become a child and then becomes an adult. In the same way, a baby plant grows into a bigger plant. Fourth feature, living things need food and water. All living things requires energy for different kind of activities and that energy we get from our food. Whereas water also plays an important role to keep us alive. Now let us see how water plays an important role in plants life. Plants can prepare their own food by using water, air and sunlight and the process is known as photosynthesis. Fifth feature. All living things reproduce. Reproduce means to give birth to young ones. Humans and animals give birth to babies. Birds Fish, snakes, they lay eggs. Plants reproduce through seeds. Sixth feature. Living things feel. Animals and humans have sense organs. It helps them to feel changes around them. Children, why do we wear sweater in winter season? Because we feel cold. Our sun
and flower move towards light. Why? Because even plants can feel light and grow towards it. Sixth feature. Living things feel. Animals and humans have sense organs. It helps them to feel changes around them. Children, why do we wear sweater in winter season? Because we feel cold. Our sunflower move towards light. Why? Because even plants can feel light and grow towards it. Students, now I will explain the chapter on board. So let's get started with the explanation. Students, we see different things around us and all the things can be classified into two groups, living things and non-living things. What are living things? Things that have life are called living things. For example, tree, humans, animals, they are called living things. We are humans. We can move by our own. We breathe. We need food for energy. We grow year after year. These are the few characteristics which makes us living thing. Things that do not have life are called non-living things. For example, bottle and car. Even this pencil is a non-living thing. Why? Because a pencil does not grow year after year. A pencil does not breathe. A pencil cannot move by its own. Because of these characteristics, we can say a pencil is a non-living thing. Children, non-living things Further, can be classified into two groups, natural things and man-made things. Things which are present in nature and are not made by man are called natural things. For example, clouds, sun and air. Whereas, things which are made by man are called man-made things. For example, duster, chair and a pencil. Students, now we will study about different features of living things. Humans and animals can walk, run and jog. Whereas a snail, crawl. Birds, fly. Aquatic animals like fish, Swims. Second feature. Living things breathe. What is breathing? Taking in oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide is called breathing. Humans and animals breathe through their nose. Whereas aquatic animals like fish, they breathe through gills. Insects like and have tiny holes in their body. Earthworm breathe through the skin. Third feature. Living things grow. All living things grow, get old and die. For example, a baby plant grows into a bigger plant. A tadpole grows into a frog. Fourth feature. Living things need food and water. Food and water are very important for any living organism. They keep us alive. Fourth feature. Living things need food and water. Food and water keeps us alive. They are very important for all living things. We get energy from our food. Humans and animals get their food from other animals and plants, whereas green plants
plants can make their own food. And the process is known as photosynthesis. For photosynthesis, green plants require sunlight, water and air. Fifth feature, living things reproduce. Reproduce means to give birth to the young ones. Humans and animals give birth to the babies. Whereas, plants reproduce through seeds. Birds lay eggs. Sixth feature, living things feed. All living things can feel changes around them. Humans and animals have sense organs. Students, in winter season, when we feel cold, we cover ourselves with sweater. Even plants can feel changes around them. For example, a sunflower moves towards sunlight because they can feel light and grow towards it. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it has helped you to understand the chapter in a better way. See you in my next class.